Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to a new video and today we are exploring the all new Ford Mustang Mach-E GT. So this is the all new model, all new electric SUV from Ford. This is the key, you see Mustang logo as well as the one on the front. And uh, yeah, this is an electric SUV that has a Mustang name, a whole new era for Ford and let's explore all the details of this model. So the flagship model is the GT with 487 horsepower. Impressive specs on this one. I will take you on a point of view drive later on, so stay tuned for that video as well. Let's focus on the design. When I unlock the car, we are greeted with the dynamic indicators and the adaptive LED lights, very slim lights. The GT version has the standard adaptive LEDs where the standard versions would get LED as standard, adaptive LED as an option. Here we have the lovely black color. I believe it is called the absolute black. If you follow me regularly, you will know that I'm a huge fan of the black color, but of course you can get other more, let's say, colorful options such as the blue one, orange one. And yeah, a lot of specs available. Obviously, since this is an EV, we don't have the classic grille. We have this panel with the Mustang logo. And yeah, overall styling is quite impressive if you ask me, especially if we move on to the side. 4 meters 71 is the length of this car. And here you can see the very dynamic silhouette. Look at this, the fastback roof line and the very sporty appearance on the road. This car is a real eye catcher. Everyone is turning their heads and uh, looking at it when you drive it. It's brand new here on the creation market as well. And definitely, as I said, gets a lot of attention. Speaking about the wheels, the GT version comes standard with 20 inch wheels. Here you see the design. Car is also equipped with Brembo brakes. If we take a look at the dimension of the tires, 245 45 R20. We have the Pirelli P0 tires fitted on this car. This is your charging port, DC charging up to 150 kilowatts. Mach E lettering here. And one cool detail are those, uh, should I call them door handles? I will show you how to enter in a moment, but for now, let's check out the rear of the car. And before that, speaking about the wheels, they go from 18 inch up to 20 inch. Obviously, these being the flagship model has the biggest wheels. You may saw the dynamic indicators that greet you when you unlock the car and those very, very cool LED tail lamps and if you are wondering they're only flickering on the camera obviously all-wheel drive so the GT version has all-wheel drive layout there will also be a real-wheel drive layout later on but here in Croatia at the launch only all-wheel drive versions are available these here are the reverse lights let me show you the diffuser very well made obviously no exhausts because we have the electric vehicle sensors and the rear view camera is located in here let me show you the incline here for the rear glass surface and the c pillar very interesting design here with those elements and the roof spoiler with those fins here to make it as aerodynamic as possible now it's time to open the trunk. You can open the tailgate itself by pressing the button down there or you can do it with a key. So you see, press this twice and you open the tailgate, electric tailgate obviously. Here, nice square shape, some additional room down there. 12 volt power supply. Hooks for your shopping bags are on both sides. This is also very cool with this illumination. Up to 1420 liters when you fold the rear seats. And it's also very convenient that this goes up when you open the tailgate itself. You can close it by pressing the button in here. And I want to hear your thoughts on the design of this new Ford Mustang Mach E GT. I think really they did a great job and the car has a very dynamic appearance and also 
very cool interior which is the next thing i will show you now the door handles as i called them but they are not the classic door handles of course so there is a button here when you press it the doors open and then you have this handle to open them you may also saw the option of the codes there's also one way to go you have the access to the car when you enter the code obviously you need to configure that and put the code now the layout here beautiful portrait mode screen and the digital cockpit in front of the driver but before that let's check out the door panels here lovely alcantara and i would love this to be the ambient lighting but it is not this car does have the ambient lights there um, on different sections but yeah this is something that i would love to see uh, illuminated but yeah i do love this alcantara the classic switches for the windows and mirrors lock and unlock and this is what um, replaces the classic door handle so in order to get out of the car you need to pull this decent amount of room here in the door pocket bank and olufsen sound system nicely incorporated into the dashboard which i'll show you right now but before that let me show you the special gt seats look at this lovely support for the shoulders as well as the rest of the body obviously i love the way that they designed those so not only comfortable and sporty but also quite nice in terms of design we do have the lumble support and you can adjust the seats with those buttons in here and now it is time to explore the interior from driver's perspective and this is the lovely layout in front of us the 10.2 inch digital cockpit as well as the main star the 15.5 inch portrait mode touchscreen with the new sync 4 infotainment system and now here you also see how nicely integrated the speakers are into the dashboard itself let me change the view and show you more details of this screen and the main console here so this is the new infotainment system i will show you all the details of it but before that let me show you the console here usb-c and usb-a port thumb up for that wireless charger for your phone is on the left some additional storage area adjustable cup holders and here is the key once again this is for park assist systems when you press it you access uh, deactivate park assist settings and navigate to parking option hazard lights with nice dynamic indicators i will actually show you the cars with the indicators turned on from outside as well electronic parking brake this is the lever for the automatic transmission and uh yeah well reverse neutral drive and when you press the l you have more recuperation uh, so there's also option of one pedal drive and then you also get more recuperation but if you are driving without one pedal option this is what you can press in order to get additional recuperation gt lettering here and this nice leather armrest when you pull it you have some additional room 12 volt power supply actually and decent amount of storage room and it's nice that this has the roller this is fixed and speaking about those storage areas obviously additional storage area here the glove box alcantara in this section and now it is time to check out and explore all the details of the new infotainment system so when you press this button here you go into the main menu radio phone navigation all of the options are here and let's actually start with the ac so in order to change the ac this is where you adjust the air blower and this is where you adjust the temperature you can do it like this or you can just slide it now even though i usually prefer the buttons instead of the touchscreen for the ac i think this is one of the easiest uh, touch controlled ac so i think i will give it a thumb up because really no problems whatsoever to adjust the air blower based on your needs you can also activate the heated 
steering wheel and heated seats but obviously not gonna do it right now radio list of stations is here you can also add some new ones obviously if we press this again phone connection apple carplay and android auto are available navigation has a beautiful 3d shape of the buildings just look at this now stay tuned for the night point of view drive it's gonna be very impressive with this big screen and i think you will enjoy it just as much as i will you can also change the layout of the screen to the dark mode which will be in during the night currently we are at the auto mode which means uh, obviously we have the bright setup for the day trip energy media android auto and apple carplay sketch you can also do some sketching if you like and uh, you can save it there are also some games available as well for example while you're charging your car that's always an option the only button is this one where you control the volume and now you saw the options here on the main menu but when you press the car icon here you access the car functions car settings and first of all the driving modes now this car has three driving modes each one has very cool explanation let me read it to you seamless drive calm and quiet the best mode for slippery or snowy conditions and uh yeah, well that is the whisper mode active mode which is what i mostly use during uh my drive balanced drive everyday fun and if you want the most sporty drive and the crazy inside sound you activate the untamped mode now this is the most sporty setup and as you can see from the explanation this is what you will use if you want most sporty drive and there's also an untamped plus for track usage track use only not intended for public roads when you are in this untamped mode you have the special sound they call this like the propulsion sound and you can deactivate it if you don't like it i quite like it and people who say that electric cars don't have sound well they do have some kind of sound especially this one is very cool and uh, i will try to film a video during the drive uh, with this sound so you will see that one as well Here's where you activate the one pedal drive but what i notice is that for example if you are in active mode and you activate the one pedal drive then you go to this mode it is still active so i would prefer if for that setting to be let's say just reserved for this mode but i mean it's very easy to just uh, change that but that's just something that i would love to see camera rear view camera surround and the front camera as well it's a lot of options in here driver assist auto hold so when you have the auto hold on when you go into drive the car will not um, go until you press the throttle itself but if you want the car to um, you know, start driving as soon as you release the brake then you need to turn off the auto hold and the settings for the driver assist systems are in here you see this car is packed with technology this is where you can also um, activate or deactivate the auto hold speed limit assist lane keeping assist pre-collision assist and you activate various functions in here or deactivate but i would prefer uh, to have everything on and i definitely suggest you to do the same as it is obviously the best for your own safety this car is really advanced in terms of technology and that means obviously those systems as well 
so uh, yeah keep them turned on I would suggest access here is where you can access various uh, things so charge port light you can turn it on or off you can also uh, open the tailgate you see you need to press it and slide it I believe and now it is closing you can also access and open the front parking this is the uh, you need to press this I already showed you wallet mode so you can access and activate the wallet mode that way I believe the car will be limited in terms of power and so that some other people that are driving your car and don't do crazy things with it obviously let's go to settings sound settings this sound system is pretty good I will definitely suggest you to go for it if you are a fan of the good sound radio settings and uh, yeah here you see the charge this car has the bigger battery so the 88 kilowatt hour battery usable and in my experience range around 450 480 uh, when you drive it normally you see 56 percent and we still have 245 kilometers of range so that's quite good I would say and obviously the range depends on your driving style I think around 500 is the WLTP standard for this car but I think most of the drivers will get over 400 kilometers of range profiles driver assist systems vehicle settings are here you can adjust various things here windows alarm system so a lot of things can be adjusted and general settings well classic things you can also have the touchscreen beep if you prefer that way you see we have the beep now but I will keep it without the beep calm screen you can access the calm screen here and yeah this is the drawing that we saw earlier uh, let's go back and put the navigation here all right and now back to the settings where did we stop on the display calm screen you can access and activate the brightness here now the instrument cluster it's this one light or auto I quite like the fact that here it says ground speed quite cool and I didn't put the light screen on because uh, on my GoPro it is flickering a bit and I filmed the point of view drive so I wanted to have the dark screen in here clock connectivity vehicle hotspot system updates this car has the automatic updates apps you can have the Ford app so that you can see uh, all the status and um, you know various things about your vehicle which can be very useful especially when you are charging the car and now the ambient lighting there are a few colors available uh, but I will show you the details during the night not sure if you can see it they are on the door pockets here in the middle section but I think we need night for them to be turned on anyway uh, I will show you the ambient lights during the night point of view drive so stay tuned for that and I also wanted to show you how this screen looks when it's got the dark mode I actually prefer the dark mode on this screen look at this we have the 
Mustang in black, just like our car. Now this, how cool is that? And uh, yeah, well, some of the buttons are here, changing of the tracks or uh, changing of radio stations. This is for volume, voice command, phone connection. This is your cruise control. And that's pretty much it when we talk about the interior in here. So some lights are here, convenient feature. Sunglasses can be held here. And it is time to check out how much space I have at the rear. Time to explore the rear bench. And once again, we enter with just a touch of a button. Nice tinted windows on the model in our video suits the car as it is in black. Same pattern as on the front with the lovely Alcantara and the same way to exit the car. I will actually show you that. I just realized I haven't shown you the way you go out of the car itself. Anyway, let's jump on board. And there we go. Really decent amount of room still left. Have in mind that I'm a meter 87 and the seat is adjusted for my driving position. This is the lovely view on the front and the rear occupants also have the air vents as well as the USB-C and USB-A port. In the middle, let's see the armrest. There we go. It is time to show you how much space I have for my head, but just look at the way those seats look from this angle. Really like a piece of art. All right then, look at this, still some room left. Very clever design of the roof because look here, it extends, so extra room in this section where you actually put your head. And once again, I'm one meter 87, this is how it looks. So I could be really comfortable here even on longer road trips. And now to show you the exit of the car, just press this and you are out. Before we open the front, let me show you the car with the dynamic indicators turned on. Very impressive design during the night. It really looks gorgeous on this car. But the rear indicators are dynamic as well. Look at those. There we go. There are a few options to open the trunk. First one would be to pull this twice. Second option within the infotainment system, the same way we opened the tailgate. And the third option is with the key. So you see here, press this twice and that way you will open the trunk. Uh, so let's do it. You see, now all you need to do pull it we have hydraulic struts and that's it here you have the trunk additional room in here and if you are wondering about this this is the safety feature if someone gets trapped here this is the way to open the trunk from this angle from inside obviously and I also want to show you this is where you put your washer fluid so that's pretty much it here there is a cool feature, you can uh, put ice in here because the water will go down here and uh, yeah, well that way you can have a picnic with cold drinks. How cool is that? An additional cool element that I just noticed, look at this, the attention to details. Speaking about the attention to details, look at this, another cool feature, Ford badge on the front windshield. And now let's mention the powertrain options. On Croatian market, now at the launch, there will only be an all-wheel drive version and the GT. So those are the, this is the flagship model and then one above is the all-wheel drive version. There is the extended range, which is this, the bigger battery. The GT version always has the bigger battery, so the 88 kilowatt hour battery. But as I said, there will be the other option with the rear wheel drive and the smaller battery, the standard range model. 
but that one will be available next year tell me in the comments what would be your choice okay guys and that was it i hope you liked this detailed look at the all new ford mustang mach e and uh, yeah well tell me in your comments how do you like the car do subscribe to the channel as we are going on a point of view drive with this car and the video will be live soon so stay tuned for that see you on the next one bye bye